Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video here to give you my review of NXT TakeOver In Your House 2021 review. Yes, two years in a row we get an In Your House show uh, courtesy of NXT. Um, let's get right into it, honestly. Um, to tell the truth, I woke up like five minutes before the show started. So, I don't know, when it started I was kind of like groggy. It had a pretty cool theme song, um, or at least a singer performing a song about In Your House. That was pretty fun, it had some nice classic vintage stuff. I didn't appreciate um, them mentioning that uh, DVD and VHS, specifically DVD, is quote-unquote dead. Because it ain't, alright? I still get DVDs. Plenty of people still get DVDs. I love DVDs. I always will. Um, I did not like that. I did not appreciate that. And I don't, I don't know if it was because I was tired or maybe I just wasn't really in the mood to watch this. That uh, I was kind of like only half watching the show throughout, to be honest. Maybe not even half. Maybe like a third paying attention to the show, you know what I mean? Because I was, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I, but I'll try to, you know, th there's going to be better reviews of this out there, of this show. I'll say that. I'll be completely upfront about that. Uh, people who really paid attention to the show. Uh, but I'll still try and do my best, of course. Um, I still had fun for, you know, what I uh, was able to watch and pay attention to. And I'm very excited to, like, review this. Have it up on my channel. You, you know what I mean. And, alright, so the first match of NXT TakeOver In Your House 2021, a winner-take-all six-man tag team match for both the NXT North American and NXT Tag Team Championship. We have Bronson Reed, uh, the NXT North American Champion, uh, and MSK consisting of Nash Carter and Wes Lee, the NXT Tag Team Champions, defending against Legado Del Fantasma, consisting of Santos Escobar, Joaquin Wilder, and Raul Mendoza. Uh, this was a fun match. Uh, I always love seeing my boys, uh, MSK. I've been a fan of them ever since they debuted uh, this year, or maybe it was late last year. They debuted quite recently, and they're already champions, which is pretty incredible, isn't it? Um, but uh, yeah, this was a fun match from what I saw. There was this one move that they did in the ring that I thought was so cool. However, I completely forgot what that move was, but it was still cool. And Bronson Reed, uh, Santos Escobar, he was um, he had he was holding the uh, NXT North American Championship. Even I was shouting at the TV, "That's not yours, Santos! That's not yours!" And Bronson Reed freaking just smashed him into a, a crowd part area, destroying that part. That was awesome. Um, and uh, Bronson Reed pinned one of the tag guys, the other tag guys, the, the opponents, of course, to uh, um, retain the the NXT North American Championship for himself and the NXT Tag Team Championship for MSK. Um, fun match, fun opener. Um, but li like I said, uh, I was kind of like only a third paying attention to everything just because I was probably both tired and not really in the mood to watch the show, but like I said, I'll still try my best. Um, next match we have Mercedes Martinez versus Zia Lee. Um, there was a throwback to um, their uh, May Young Classic 2017 match, a match that I never heard of or seen, and Zia Lee it was eating away at her that she lost that match to Mercedes. So, Zia Lee got her revenge here. Zia Lee defeats Mercedes Martinez. And, uh, to tell the truth, I did not catch one bit of this match. I was in the bathroom during this match. It was quite short, actually. I was, uh, in the bathroom. Uh, I think I was taking a whiz and washing my hands. And then when I came back, the match was already over. And I was like, wow, that was quick. Uh, but Zia Lee got her revenge, and there was this, uh, I don't know if anyone else knows who it is, but there was this, like, cloaked lady, woman, who for a moment I thought, wouldn't it be cool if that was, like, Awesome Kong or something, or, or Karma, um, confronting Mercedes, um, and, uh, I don't know what that was about, alright, 
But next up, we have a huge match that I was, I'm very excited to have reviewed on my channel. We have the ladder match for the vacant million dollar championship. Yep, a million dollar championship match is on a 2021 WWE show. That is just incredible. Um, we have Cameron Grimes versus LA Knight. Uh, this match was awesome. Um, some dang cool ladder spots. Um, just a fun match. I mean, it's a ladder match. It's pretty much impossible to have a bad ladder match, bro. Uh, this match was so much fun. Um, I won't lie. I thought Cameron Grimes was going to win this. Uh, just from all the posts I keep seeing on Facebook about Cameron Grimes. I don't watch... I don't really watch NXT, the show, by the way. But, uh... It had a pretty awesome ending. LA Knight. It looked like Cameron Grimes was going to get the win. But then LA Knight, um... Tipped the ladder over and he smashed through this ladder doohickey setup on the outside of the ring. That was cool. Alley Knight wins the million dollar championship uh, after, you know, grabbing the case with the championship inside. Uh, it was then that uh, uh, Ted DiBiase, yes, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, and by the way, I signed that petition to make his WWF championship reign official. I don't know if you guys know about that, but I'm proud to say that I signed it. Um, um, and he presented the Million Dollar Championship to LA Knight. So that's that's pretty dope. All right. Um, next up, we have the NXT Women's Championship match. We have Raquel Gonzalez defending against Ember Moon. Um, this match was pretty fun for what it was. Um, I, I was about to say... Something that would be repeating myself again. But, uh, I loved that my girl, Dakota Kai, was uh, interfering a lot. And then Shotzi Blackheart came out, you know, when she kept interfering. And I was like, boo, Shotzi Blackheart. Um, Ember Moon actually did hit the Eclipse in this match. But Dakota Kai had put a foot on the rope to break that pinfall. Raquel Gonzalez, you know, hit a one-handed uh, choke slam or chokeslam album, whatever it is, to retain the championship. So, good for her. Very happy that she retained. And yeah. Now we have the main event, Fatal 5-Way match for the NXT Championship. Uh, Karrion Cross defending against Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, Pete Dunne, and Johnny Gargano. Uh, this match was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this match. There was a lot of moments where it was one-on-one. -on -one. There was like, um... There was parts when it was like just Pete Dunne versus Johnny Gargano one on one, for example. You know, I don't remember exactly if um, that one on one exchange actually happened or not, but um, it was really fun. Um, they actually put Karrion Cross uh, through the door entrance ramp area. That was fun. that was awesome to see. They also put Karrion Cross um, well not through the table. They smashed him on the table, but the table didn't break. That was cool. And Karrion Cross was out for a while. And then, the moments when you thought Pete Dunne was going to win. Uh, I did not expect Pete Dunne to actually win this whatsoever. Although, I was rooting for him. Because honestly, out of these five, he's probably my favorite, to be honest. Uh, mostly because he's in my movie legacy. Um, but, uh, the ending, let's just skip to the end. The end was pretty cool. For I honestly thought Kyle O'Reilly was about to win the NXT Championship. Kyle O'Reilly had the heel lock, or whatever you call a submission, on Adam Cole for what seemed like an eternity. But Adam Cole wouldn't tap out. Karrion Cross goes behind Kyle O'Reilly with his chokehold. Um, Kyle O'Reilly still has the lock on Adam Cole, who never taps out. I'm really shocked that Adam Cole held on as long as he did. And Karrion Cross. Um, um, you know, made Kyle O'Reilly pass out Karrion Cross in his first NXT title defense, at least on a TakeOver event. Um, is, um, retains the title. So that was a pretty awesome main event. I'd, I'd probably say that main event was my match of the night. I'll, honestly, I was kind of hoping for a title change. Um, to be honest, I'm not that, I'm not really a Karrion Cross fan, to be honest. I sure as heck... Do not think he's worthy of retiring John Cena either. I'm just putting it out there. But that was a fun main event. I, um, From what I was able to watch, this was a really fun show. And I'm wondering what the end, the very, very end of this pay-per-view means. 
because this preview ended with William Regal, and I noticed he had a tear down his eye. Uh, William Regal saying, um, and I've I've been I've been uh, commissioner of NXT or something like that for seven years, and I've never seen anything like this. It's time for a change. I don't know what that means, but that does sound exciting. Okay. So overall, you know, even though I wasn't really fully able to pay attention to this, you know, due to me being tired and also quite uninterested, um, that's probably because I was tired, um, I really enjoyed this, to be honest. Um, I really loved the ladder match and the main event, and I'm very happy, I'm very happy with how this review turned out, actually. This review turned out way better than I honestly thought it would, but yeah, so that's your boys. Review of NXT TakeOver In Your House 2021. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. I'll see y'all later. And, uh, if you enjoyed the show, let me know. And if you enjoyed my thoughts, let me know as well. And, uh, yeah. So I'm your boy, Mark. And that's my review. Peace out.